a royal source is now claiming that Meghan Markle is absolutely in a panic. The actress tricked Harry into believing that he didn't need his family. She fooled him into thinking they could make it on their own in Tinseltown. But it seems she neglected to inform him that he would need to publicly trash his own family in order to bring in the money. The whole time, Meghan's secret scheme was to turn him against all members of his own family, leaving her the only person he could really confide in. And it looks like her plan was successful. She must have been amazed at how quickly she was able to completely manipulate him. Fake pregnancies, the made-up miscarriage story, disrespecting a dying queen with that dumb curtsy, lies on the Oprah Winfrey interview show, more lies and spare, the near-fatal car chase at 10 miles an hour in New York City, Harry the dum-dum just played along with all of it, too afraid of Megan to put his foot down. The nasty woman is so desperate for publicity. Once she said, I want to break the internet, and she told the media, the queen confided in me before she died that I was her favorite royal, but she's convinced Harry that it's really cool to tell lies. A few weeks before the queen passed away, Harry told the press, the queen was playing on the carpet with Archie. They got on so well together. Later on, it was denied by the palace, but Harry said it, and supportive publications reported it as truth. And this week, it looks like Megan's up to her old tricks again. She's using these so-called friends to leak news to the media, mostly to friendly publications that are always excited to print stories about the royals, even if these stories are completely made up or exaggerated. And of course, these publications don't believe Megan's story, but anyway, her nonsense does bring in the money and it fills the pages. Her latest scam is bound to have annoyed and embarrassed the royals. Her favorite trashy magazines that print whatever she or her friends say have gotten a press release claiming the Sussexes would happily accept an invitation to join the royal family in Sandringham for Christmas if invited. This is the same approach we have seen Meghan take in previous years. She's hoping it's going to make the royal family look bad if a public invitation is not offered to them. So the press release says the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are keen to build bridges and would not decline an offer to join His Majesty for the festive season. She's got some nerve, I'll give her that, and it looks like she has hit an entirely new low even for her. I mean, this is the same woman who pushed Harry into demanding an apology from King Charles, saying that he's got to publicly admit guilt. This is the same woman who told Oprah that the royals are a bunch of racists. And now her alleged friends, more likely herself, are speaking on her behalf again, telling everybody they're ready to forgive the royals and they're looking forward to being a part of their much-loved family again. This was in the recent press release, folks. I'm not making it up. So is Megan panicking right now? Absolutely she is. That's because she's struggling in the U.S. She's not popular. Her American dream with a prince on her arm has completely fallen apart. That Spotify executive said it best when he called the two of them grifters, and I'm sure that just upset Meghan Markle to no end. And now they're being made fun of in family TV shows in the U.S., Family Guy, and South Park. Meghan knows the royals are coming under pressure to expose her scam when it comes to the invisible kids. And she knows that if Harry decides he wants to return to his family, he's going to get advice from the palace's lawyers, and it's not going to be good for Meghan Markle. Megan had to have seen the reports claiming that Harry moves out of their Montecito home for days at a time. She probably knows he has talked with the palace officials about how he can return home without her. And she has to know that Harry has talked with his old friends about the miserable marriage that he's stuck in now. Unfortunately for Megan, though, she is 100% sure that without the royal connection, she's a nobody. She's nothing. So she's desperate to hang on to this for as long as she possibly can. She is going to be working on Harry to prove that they're still a loving couple when the cameras are pointing in their direction, of course, even though, as we have noticed, it's not very easy for Harry to pretend. Rumor going around Royal Berkshire is that if Harry and Meghan are at Sandringham for Christmas, William and his family have already said we're not going to be there. Instead, they would spend Christmas with Catherine's family, Carol and Michael Middleton, at Buckleberry Manor in Berkshire. But I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, even if the king wanted to give in to Meghan and Harry, Anne and Camilla sure don't ever want to see Meghan ever again. So if the king starts to be a little weak, those two strong women are going to put him in his place. It is true that nobody does Christmas like the royal family, and I don't think William and Catherine and their kids want to miss out on that. I hope that the king can stay strong, though. Like he was when he kicked them out of Frogmore. He's shown that when he needs to, he can put his foot down. And it looks like now he has come to a bit of a crossroads. 
Harry and Meghan on the one side, and his wife, his loyal son William, his grandkids, his siblings, his friends, and his countrymen on the other side. I think for Charles, he has gone past the point of no return. He cannot simply forgive Harry and let him come back. It sounds like Harry is completely eaten up with envy and jealousy. Honestly, folks, I get chills down my spine when I think about how he had access to the Wales kids when he pretended to be a loving brother to William before he met Megan. Who knows what evil was already lurking in his heart, though. Just look at how he let Megan bully his own niece, Charlotte. When I'm reminded of how Megan said that she was the Queen's favorite, I just have to laugh, honestly. The late Queen cared about strong work ethic. She cared about being kind and compassionate to other people. Well, Megan didn't have any of those characteristics. The Queen adored all members of her family, but there were a few members of the family, especially women who she was close to, and none of these women were Megan. They were strong, caring women, intelligent, loving. Women like the Duchess of Edinburgh, for example, who shared a love of military history with her and was allowed to refer to her as Mama. Women like the Princess Royal. The Queen adored spending time with her daughter. She was so proud of her, and both of them shared the same passion for horses. Or women like Princess Alexandra, the only female cousin of royal blood to Her Majesty, even with the 10-year age gap. They became very close. The Queen was so grateful to all her cousins for all their hard work on her behalf. And women like Lady Sarah Chateau, too. The late queen saw Lady Sarah as another daughter, and Sarah saw her Aunt Lilibet as a mother figure, and they loved spending time together. Lady Sarah also reminded the queen of Princess Margaret a lot, and the queen absolutely missed her when she passed away. Lady Sarah would go and spend time with her aunt at Balmoral every year, and the staff would hear all this loud girlish laughter coming from closed doors whenever they were together. You know, if Meghan and Harry really need somewhere to go for Christmas, maybe Meghan should try ringing up her father. Oh, you know, the elderly, sick father who she wants nothing to do with. The father Harry has never even bothered to meet. The one who raised Meghan, paid her way, and actually went bankrupt doing so. Maybe she could include the mother and the aunties and the cousins that she ditched as well. If Meghan really wants to be popular, if she wants people to love her, well, maybe she should start to show some real empathy and kindness and love. Personally, I don't think she has any of these qualities. I think she's just a manipulative liar. So maybe she could try to prove me wrong. I would love to see that. And if Harry has any desire to leave Meghan, I think he can do it whenever he wants to with the kids, if he has any, even without a passport. He could always just go to the British Consul General in L.A., and I'm sure they would happily arrange for him and any children, if they exist, to get on the next flight to London with some new passports. But it looks like the two of them are just playing games with us as always. I'm not convinced they have any real plans for divorce. The reason I think they might just be playing games is because one day we see Harry looking depressed and miserable, and the next day we see them out to eat at a restaurant or at some concert pretending to have a good time. I think they are still partners in crime right now. I mean, the fake pregnancies, the fake miscarriage, being so disrespectful towards the late queen, trying to hurt the royal family and the people of the UK, they were in on it together. So it may be quite a while before Harry can escape the claws of Meghan Markle. And you, what do you think about them? Please tell me your opinion below in the comments. If you think my video is useful, don't be afraid to like and share with anybody else who would love it anytime you want. And please subscribe to support us more. Thank you so much for watching, goodbye, and I'll be back to see you in the next videos.